this is me and today I thought I would do a spring cleaning video even though it's in the middle of winter at the moment so I can't really call it a spring cleaning video however at the moment the yard and the stables is absolutely filthy because it's the middle of winter everywhere's covered in mud the stables are actually pretty dusty as well so I thought I'd clean them out a little bit but I just don't really know where to start because you know, I don't know how, but everywhere just gets so mucky. So I thought I'd have one day to make everything clean. It'll be really satisfying. And then afterwards, I just feel like I'll feel a lot more relaxed and happy in my working environment with the horses. So anyway, I thought maybe first we could tackle the feed room just because I've got rugs everywhere. I've got loads of bags of haylage that are empty that I need to put away. And it's just a bit of a mess, really. All right, so the feed room isn't as bad as it has been in the past. I like to call it organized chaos because I know where everything is. It's just everything isn't really in the places it should be. So it does need a little bit of a tidy up. So I thought I'd come and show you inside. <laughs> All right, so the haylage area is pretty organized. You know, that's all nicely stocked up. It's more the back wall and over here that's not, not as tidy. So I'll just open up the door so we've got a bit of air in here. But basically, I have um, some bags of feed I need to put away. The counter's a bit dirty. I need to sweep the floor. I've just got a pile of stuff in the corner there that definitely needs sorting out but i feel like with the winter and with horses you're always so busy trying to get everything done before it gets dark so early and i just haven't really had the time to make sure everything's organized and tidy and clean so that's what i thought i would do today so anyway i think first things first we need to put some of the feed away <laughs> I think I have almost finished clearing out the feed room. So this has been a bigger task than I was expecting because there were so many cobwebs. I cleaned through all of the um, top shelf as well, which has kind of been getting me down a little bit because I've just had so many rugs that have been like not properly put away, especially when it's been dark and I've got the horses in the evening. I just want everything to be done as quickly as possible. 
feels so good just to have everything in its right place, only having things in here that I actually use regularly. And also I managed to fix the fairy lights as well, which looks so much better. They were hanging down a little bit because before I used blue tack, well now I've actually properly nailed them in there, which is great. And it's just feeling so fresh in here. So anyway, I think the next thing I need to sort out I thought I've been cooped up in here for a little bit cleaning, go outside and harry the school because at the moment I've ridden quite a lot in there and it's got a little bit lumpy from all of the horses hoof prints. <laughs> All right, guys, it's actually really nice to get outside and get out of the feed room because I was in there for quite a while. It's actually a really lovely sunny day today. But anyway, I don't think you guys have seen this yet, but we now have a harrow for our school. Very fancy, especially as for years we've been just using an old gate pretty much. So um, we're going to have harrow cam today, so that's going to be very exciting. So anyway, now it's time to get in and get this thing started. All right, let's go. Cause I'm burning up for you and I can't let go. I feel the sky fall around me and I don't know. Diamond lights got me hooked on your false hope. Loving you is just like holding on to fool's gold. And I thought that you were someone I could run to. Now I'm left with all the things you said you wouldn't do. This was never something real enough for you to hold. Cause it's a false love, honey. to clean out the horses stables and oh no I'm not just gonna muck them out I'm going to properly clean them so we have so many cobwebs up on the ceiling so probably gonna get a broom and try and get some of them down um, but also the windows are absolutely disgusting we're currently in Joey's stable and I think he likes to look out the window and there's just so much like slobber and dust and grime on here so I've got some window cleaner I'm gonna give it a bit of a spray we also have a lot of cobwebs dead flies so it's just a bit gross really I'm gonna use this to hopefully give that a bit of a clean I think I'm gonna have to clean the outside as well because I think there's a bit of dirt on the outside too but that's looking a lot better <laughs> so they can actually see out of the windows now wow when the going gets tough the tough gets a toothbrush and don't worry I'm not gonna use this on my teeth ever again I've already used it for cleaning before that's why it's absolutely disgusting but anyway there are some loads of little hard to reach places so I'm just gonna quickly give those a little bit of a brush with the toothbrush just because they're a lot easier to get because the toothbrush is a lot smaller but I just don't know how it gets so dirty I clean these every single year and I feel like every single year they just get dirtier oh my goodness so disgusting Hi Casper and Joey, it's your local window cleaner here. Got my cleaning things. Oh, Joey, you've just gone and stolen Casper's hay. Poor Caspi. Anyway, time to get scrubbing. Oh, I feel like this window is going to be a lot more satisfying because it doesn't have any bars that I have to worry about. Ooh la la, look at that. Oh no, I think I might have to go around to the other side because you can see how smeary it is. I think I might have to get another a cleaner utensil for cleaning this. I don't know, it looks pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm gonna have to clean the inside again because it's still a bit a bit dirty. Hello Joey. <laughs> Do you like my cleaning stuff? Yeah. Are you being a good boy and sharing your haylage with Casper? They're actually sharing from one net. There are th three or four different nets up here, but for some reason, that is the haylage net to be eating. So now it's time to give Mickey's stable window a bit of a, a clean up. This, oh, this isn't as satisfying because I can't actually see through the other side because I haven't cleaned the inside of Mickey's yet, but it's definitely doing something. There we go. All right, so if you couldn't tell already, this is Mickey's stable window, probably because it is 
the worst one of all of them. I'm just gonna do the middle one so we can actually see the difference just by me cleaning this. Oh my gosh, Mickey, what, what has he been doing in here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> like I haven't cleaned, oh no, I have cleaned the outside of this one, but it's a little bit smurry, smeary, smeary, smeary. But look at the difference. How did he get all this on here? Mickey, I just don't know what you've been getting up to in here and I'm a bit concerned. I have a little fun fact for you. So this is actually Casper's second window. Yes, Casper has two windows because when they built our stables, I don't know why, but they decided to put Casper's window the side where his stable door is, which I thought was kind of mean because then he couldn't look out onto the field. So we actually bought an extra window so he could have a back one. So it's fair for all the horses, but Casper, he's, he's lucky. He's got two windows, he's got one at the front as well. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a spray. Again, this one is absolutely awful. I don't know why it has so many spider webs. Oh my goodness. That side isn't too dirty, but it gets progressively dirtier the closer it is to a stable door. Oh my goodness. All right, now it's time to tackle all of the cobwebs up on the ceiling. Mickey has just been brewing these in here. I don't know how many there are, it's ridiculous. I literally, like a year ago, less than a year ago, I cleaned all the cobwebs out and there are twice as many now. I do not know how, but um, I feel like it's gonna get a bit dusty. Luckily, I haven't mucked out yet. So it means that when I muck out, I can remove all of the cobwebs that have fallen down rather than make it all nice and clean and then everywhere being dusty, but guess okay, so let's start in this corner. All right, so we have now finally finished brushing all of the cobwebs out of here. The windows are clean. It was pretty dusty, um, so I've let it settle a little bit so it's not so dusty in here anymore. And now it's time to finally actually muck out the stables. Pretty sure it's the horse's new shavings day as well today. So I'm gonna make Joey a lovely big bed, even though if I make him a massive bed, it only takes up a tiny proportion of his stable because Joey has an absolutely huge stable. But anyway, time to scoot the poop. and nice and clean and lastly all I need to do is sweep down the yard but as you guys know from one of my last cleaning videos we had a very sad moment where we had to say rest in peace to brush cam but there's a new brush in town today yes I have a brand new yard brush and this is pretty much so you're an equestrian without saying you're an equestrian. I am very excited that I now have a new sweeping brush that just pretty much says it all so anyway Let's hitch up brush cam and get sweeping. All 
right guys, the whole yard is now sparkling, it's gleaming, it feels so nice to have the arena flat, to have the yard swept, the stables de-dusted and in the feed room. It's just looking fantastic. I hope you found today's video as satisfying as I have. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Thank you.